Okay, now it's recording. Yay. Okay. Okay. We'll have to put your legs down or else I won't, or else I won't get me in a few. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll probably just move it back a bit just to be on the safe side. Okay, yep. 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 Sorry, there we go. Okay, uh, hello. Hey there, everyone. Going on here. With Midnight. And this is. Okay, it's not a lovely uh, loop, okay, loop box this time. This time it's the Anime Awesomeness. Because I finally subscribed to that. No, and uh, now, this is May's box. But it came. On June 1st? Yeah, because apparently, yeah, was I find real weird because I signed up for this the 7th of May. So I was like, it sort of came in earlier, but no, it takes almost a month later. You're Try bigger, right? Yeah. And also, yeah, I've got a camera now so I can actually film these right. I just have to get a tripod. I have a tripod. You should have asked me to bring one. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know on that. I went to college for a video where you think I don't have a tripod? What do you even know about me? Oh, I didn't know you had a college for that, so I just didn't know you had a <laughs> But, oh yeah, but now the thing that actually makes this neat, because I think most of you are likely noticing two things that are different from other people who've done unboxing for this. One, it's much more bigger, and secondly, it's got orange on the side, and then it has the Crunchyroll thing, well thing on here because Blue Crate did a, Luke Craig basically did a uh, partnership thing with Crunchyroll for their anime thing where those who have a subscription to it could, could use that to get, to get some money taken off on their first uh, box. I'm not sure if it's a constant thing. I think it might be because it's shown to be permanent on my status thing. So oh, I that's... That's pretty cool. Yeah, but Crunchyroll's that's... been partnering with a lot of people lately. They partnered with Anime Boston this last year. Yeah, they're becoming a yeah, they're actually becoming much becoming like they were like they're like they're releasing they're releasing manga that they've only got the rights to release. Yeah, and they're starting to basically get together with releasing anime because from what we've heard, they're gonna be trying to release the first season of Free. Oh yeah, which is a well, they, they worked with Funimation to dub it, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, so, yeah, that's actually, wait a minute, it's actually finally going to get done? Oh, it's actually already dubbed. I think you can watch it on Crunchyroll. Oh, cool. But, yeah, so it's like, yeah, they're basically becoming a way more bigger company now. Yep. But that's, but yeah, so that's what the deal was with this, especially, and also that's why it's also Orange on the sides, because for those who don't know about Crunchyroll, Orange is basically the cutter for their symbol. Yep. All right, let's open this thing up. Yeah, I'm actually curious what's in here. I mean, I know I know the theme is unity, and I know the series dealing with it. I'm just surprised. I'm just wondering what the heck's in this. Well, what were the series again? Okay, Full, okay, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Yokai Watts. Okay. The Boy and the Beast. Okay. Which is a movie I want to see. Yeah, I really want to see it, too. Okay, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, sweet. I know, this one made me really happy. I was just like, I was like, Or DBZ merchandise. I know, I was like, first Luke Crank gets the Dragon Ball Z, and then the little anime. I was just like, cool, double DBZ this month. Drop the dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, Ooh that's cool. Yeah, like, okay, I'm first gonna. Hey, stand up. Very, very nice. I, well, I think this is probably my favorite box design. Yeah, no, that's really nice. And All right, let's see what's in this thing. Okay. That's a shirt. First yeah. off is the shirt. That's oh. the yokai watch. Oh! It's the shirt made to look like the one the character wears in the series. Oh, nice. Cool! Cosplay! <laughs> <laughs> I can I call, I cosplay. I can cosplay him. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, I started to watch the uh, dub of the series because it's on the uh, Netflix now. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, what's that? Ooh, that's pretty, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a necklace. It is a necklace. No, wait a minute, no, it's a bracelet. Yeah, I think it's a, either it's a bracelet or it's the, oh no, I think it's, oh, it's a phone charm. Cool, and there's two of them. Sweet. Oh, these are pretty. Yeah. I don't know what they're from, though. Let's look, let's see, the back, does the back say? The back doesn't no, say. No, it just says loot create. It just says loot anime. Yeah, yeah but. 
Okay, yeah, I said you got that one. You can hold it up to the camera. Okay. Yeah, that's mm, it's cool. kind of pretty. Yeah, and there's two of them, so it's like we each gonna have one. Mm. Okay, this is from the boy. The beast. Yeah, this is from the beast. Yeah, it's from the beast. It's a plus of one of the characters. Aw, it's kind of cute. Chico plus! I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know what it is. I, I don't know cute. who Chico is either, but it's like, that's adorable. Okay, okay, here's... Oh, there's your DBZ. Here's why oh, it's that's big! that's cool, that's Here's nice. why it's big! The Super Saiyan Goku pop figure. Loot Crate exclusive. Yeah, it's a Loot Crate. Yeah, this was Loot Crate exclusive because I think it's like, because oh, yeah. it's like I think it's like the pose is different one. I also think it's way more golden. Yeah, yeah, I think the hair is a lot more golden. Yeah, the hair is golden. Where with the with the other one's just yellow. Yeah, the one. Yeah, the ones I've seen in store. Yeah, uh, yellow. Yeah. That's cool. I get that. Cool. I get the exclusive suite. Nice. Yeah, that's. Actually, I've been wanting to get one of these, so I'm just like, wow. Thanks for me. You actually did something they wanted. Oh, and something, let's see, full metal, is that like, it's a towel, I think? It's a circle doormat! That's a transformation, it's circle doormat! That's great. Um, Actually. That's a... Oh, oh, it's something that was made by Annie, Annie uh, Pelex in front of Mason. Oh, that's funny. So, so this is a fizzle merchandise, and they probably, probably had, was sold in some places. I bet you... FYE likely had it for a time. I Probably. Because usually if any place would get this stuff like this, it'd be them. Yeah. Well, you might want to treasure it considering Funimation's already lost the rights to Brotherhood and they're losing the rights to Full Metal Alchemist together in April. I am so... Or not in April, in July. Wow, I'm bad. <laughs> April I already went by. I am so glad Netflix still has it on me I can watch. Yeah, you can watch it while you still can. Yeah, so... Because it'll probably be removed in July once Funimation loses the license. Likely, yeah. But that's definitely... Though I do... Well, that, well, even though they have lost the license, they are still selling it on their side. They're still selling the box sets on their side. Well, they haven't lost the license yet. Okay. That's not happening until July. Uh, okay. Yeah, I noticed they still have the Brotherhood box sets on their site. Okay, well that's good. They lost the rights to Brotherhood a little while ago. I think they, oh, they're losing the original series in July. I think they might have lost the rights to stream time. it. That's probably the thing. Because mm. I did hear they lost the rights to stream ba Bacano. So it's likely just the rights to stream it they probably don't have anymore. Yeah, um, I think they're losing the rights to, film, to the original series altogether, though. I'm hoping not, because that's been one of their most popular series. Yeah, next to DBZ anyway. Well, yeah, next to DBZ. Actually, and yeah, it's their, it's their second most popular series after DBZ. Because DBZ has always been their most popular. Definitely. Considering, considering the fact that there's still a ton of games being bought out with it. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the trailer for the newest one? For the, no. For the three, there's one coming out for the 3DS that looks so awesome. I think it's something soup. But then I'm not sure I have to. Start yeah, either. no. The only game I've uh, been looking at lately is the one for uh, Hero Academia. Oh uh, yeah. Which well, is gonna be Funimation's new big title. Watch. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. From what, considering the fact and how they've been promoting the thing. Oh uh, yeah. Not to mention the sample dub's fantastic. Yeah, I've also uh, yeah, all, yeah. Some people who I've seen who review things, a lot of them have been praising the show. Yeah, no, the show the show is great, and the and the sample dub's just great. Well, this has a funky smell to it. <laughs> I can't smell anything. Yeah. Well, this is actually cool. I made love. <laughs> I do like it. It's cute. I wonder if I could convince my dad to have this be the doormat near our front, near our door because of the fact because of the fact he is he's a fan of the and now he hasn't seen either of the animes yet, but I got him into the manga so I could likely call talk him into having this for the doormat. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, and then if anything else, once I get my room all set up, I can put it in my room. I mean, I already have a rug in there, but still. Hey, why not? I mean, just walk in, chuckle every time you walk by it, like, heh <laughs> heh. Okay, here's Ooh. the... Ooh. Poster. Yeah, the poster that's got the... Uh, yeah, that's got the list of everything on it, so... First off, right, let's, let's check figure out. out what this is. Ooh, that's a nice poster. Yeah, usually I've noticed... I've, I've, I've watched the... Uh, 
Akada's Akada from Glass Reflections. I watched his unboxings, and usually every time the image that's shown through for the theme, it's usually shown to be the poster. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. All right, let's see what, what what we got. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. This, okay, this girl. Okay, the girl with the the, 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 the girl with the black hair doesn't have a name yet. No, there's, not just, yeah, name there's a contest coming soon. But she represents Lou Anime. She's the Lou Anime mascot, and the other girl is the Crunchyroll mascot. And her name is Hime. Okay, height five ten. Favorite food: old fashioned donut. Favorite hobby: of Unity Phone Charm. Okay, Lou Anime Labs. This month we're including a set of two phone charms that fit together. Represent your unity. Oh, that's cute. Keep one and give the other to a friend or family members with it. Yes, so oh, that worked out well. Okay, yeah, I love it. Fav okay, I love it. This with the crunchy world girl. Like favorite hobby, using Twitter. <laughs> favorite animal, fox. fox. And with the little anime one, okay, after the contest, they her name of E we feel. Height is okay. She's just a couple inches sort of from the crunchy world girl. Favorite food, hot dog with some water. Jeez, dang girl, that's that's spicy. I've had some water before. That's so spicy. Let's see. Favorite hobby, karaoke. Favorite animal, cat. Oh, look at I understand you. I speak to you on a spiritual level. <laughs> uh, actually, I actually like the fact. I kind of like about both of the animals. You know, fox and cat. I actually find it actually it actually works well because she kind of has a cat look to her. She kind of does. And the other girl definitely kind of looks like she'd be a fox, but with the way her hair. Is. Yep. Let's see. Okay, exclusive yokai watch shirt. Team goes in style with this replica of Nate's shirt from Yokai Watts, Ghost, Butler, and Kitty not included. <laughs> I was wondering that. So, exclusive, for, okay, variety, Super Saiyan Goku Pop. Team up with this metallic scene to save the world featuring Super Saiyan Goku from Dragon Ball Z. This exclusive pop. Up is one of my okay, yeah. So it is, it's just the fact is basically the hair is what's different. The hair's metallic, where the woods know it's just plastic yellow. Yep, well, exclusive for my little alchemist brother uh, hood rug, so it wasn't sold in stores. Okay, so yeah, it's good. Okay, transmutation, like well, they just work together with front of Mason, then with it transform any lame room into a room of awesome with this full metal alchemist brotherhood transmutation work new anime is not responsible for any terrible consequences <laughs> yeah i'll give you that name <laughs> good way to cover your butts <laughs> yeah exclusive chico plus every hero needs an adorable and loyal pet creature that never leaves his or her side yes that is so true look at the pokemon team it's true this exclusive plus Chico from The Boy and the Beast will keep you company while you train in the ancient arts or study for that math test, whatever. <laughs> okay, so if I remember, well, okay, so I, ha I, I haven't seen the movie stuff, but I've seen, I think, like a, a few reviews of it. And I think the Chico thing, I think that's the little critter that's probably on the boy's arm a lot. Okay. I have no idea. I've, the only thing I really know about the movie is Funimation was like really pushing it for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I noticed they were pushing it a while. I was just like, I was like, I want to see that. I do want to see it, but I couldn't. Yeah. So I mean, like, I'll, I'll eventually get to see it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's good. I think it's coming out to home video soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be nice. So. Yeah, I've never seen it being pre-ordered on their site. All right. So yeah, we got some cool stuff this week, Mom. Yeah, I'm actually glad I decided to sign up. I'm, I'm actually makes me wonder if the Steel of Moon, if the with the Dust of Steel Moon, makes me wonder if it'll just be Steel of Moon or if it'll be like Magical Girl series in the whole. That hey, if there's Madoka Magic di di merchandise. That's mine. Just getting that out there. And the on the Madoka. Ma yeah, if it's Madoka herself, I take that. Uh huh. But if it's Homura, Kyoko, or Sayaka. I'm not big on mommy. You can have Yeah, so mommy. yeah, if it's mommy or Madoka, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I'm wondering. That. If it's just Sailor Moon, then that's all. That would be awesome. Cause I be... do love Sailor Moon. But it'd be neat if it's all magical girls, because it all a ton of series. Like, like Little Forces had came out a few a, a, about a few months back, so they probably could put something like that. Came out a few months back. Okay. You mean Pretty Cure has been running forever, I and they the just US. renamed it. I meant the U.S. Yeah. One. I meant the U.S. one for this version. I meant the U.S. Yeah, one. Yeah, no. Let's let's just call it what it is. It's Pretty Cure, and it's been out for a long time. 
I was saying they could do something with that. It would like and then, the and then there's Madoka, and then there's Princess Tutu. Don't even get me started on Magical Girl animes. I could be here for a while. <gasps> be neat if they put in Utena. Something for Utena. Oh, I love Utena. And they actually could go. They actually could. They could actually go real old school and put in maybe imagine they way of a car captain. Ooh, car captors is getting a new series. It is. Yes, new anime and a new manga. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everyone, you can tell that I'm one, one of my favorite series. I mean, I, mean I, I really like Sailor Moon, but it's like, yeah, basically, basically the car character Sakura manga is good, but I always prefer the anime manga, because they really flesh out with all the cars and whatnot. Not only that, they also flesh out the characters more, too. I mean, like, I think the only one who probably had... The most done to them development wise is probably Sakura. Yeah. Like, practically almost everyone else. No, Sakura and Tomoyo. Those two are the ones who got some good flesh out. Almost everyone else, like, a, like, even poor Saruman. They were just like, oh, come. Well, he he got his time in Tsubasa. Yeah. And yeah. and the, well. Mm, well, first of him at least. A person of him at least. I was gonna say, uh, now we're just gonna get into spoilers. <laughs> Let's not. Yeah, yeah, basically, Clamp's got, they, basically, Tsubasa, Clamp made multiverse for that. <laughs> yeah, multi, 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 it, massive multiverse. Yeah, yeah, especially with the fact, yeah, especially with the fact that there was hints of it being connect, of, 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 in fact, there was, like, mentions of the original Kog at the Sakura, so, it's, so that's basically seeing the fact that that's its own universe in the world. Yep. It's got, con I, from what I remember, it's got connections with Holic. It has some connections with uh, Holic. Yeah, it's directly connected to Holic. The two stories cannot be viewed without one another. Well, with Tsubasa, yeah, but no, I'm just saying, though. But with Holic, too, particularly in the later chapters. Otherwise, you're going to get really confused. Trust me, I did. But, yeah, so it's like, so, so like, I've seen, um, yeah, it's like, the manga I'm okay with, but I always prefer the anime more due to that. And, but when it deals with, with Clamp series, I happen to like, usually with most of them, I kind of happen to like a lot with the anime, but I think the only one I happen to prefer them, the ones I happen to prefer the manga over the an over the anime is with Sobits, Angelic Leia, and uh, especially Magic Knight Wave, because, I mean, the, mo the mo anime is good, but then when it gets to the second season, it kind of goes, goes a bit off the rails. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I agree with you, particularly on Chobits. The anime for that was not good. Well, except for the episode when they went into the online game thing, that was funny. That was funny, I'll give you that. Yeah, I, that, 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 I just, I can't, know, I can't get out of my head on the scene with uh, Giants and Momo showing up and just hitting his reaction. Huge! <laughs> but the manga was so much better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and then, yeah like I said, yeah, I said, I like it with Angelic Leia, because... I mean, the anime isn't bad, but then they kind of do that change around the end that just... It's... I mean, it's not a bad change, but it's just one that kind of makes you be like, Okay, yeah, this is something that was definitely not intended with the manga. Because the manga is just like, basically, they're full-on comedy, a full-on light series. The anime is mostly like that until it gets to near the end, and then they just go all emo. That's basically the one they do. They go, go twist to the email thing. Hey, a little drama never killed anyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I don't mind it too much. The only other, yeah, I think the only other thing is that the only other change that's like hit and miss with fans is with the pairings because they switch the pairings. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, but but yeah, but, but like I said, yeah, do is with that. So hopefully that's hopefully what the next one will be. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so when it deals with, okay, so this was the, ha, ha, now this was the, the stuff around. Now this, like I said, this is a, a nice thing, but I think for, like, not everyone will probably get, really get into that kind of thing. As yeah. We, so, for us, it's a, for us, we like it because we're big oh, FMA fans, it's so. It's true, we are. Now this. Uh, I know nothing about Yokai Watch, so that's perfect for you. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played the game yet, but I've just started the enemy, but. But yeah, it's like, for this, it usually depends on if the person's a fan of it. And. But I will admit, though, this definitely works out well for a cosplay, so there's that. But that's usually for those who are really. Yeah. 
And I'm not sure if it's that or so a bit of a hit. I mean, it's a, like if you love plush overall, it's perfect. I was perfect. gonna say, I think if you just love pl little fluffy plush toys. It's perfect overall, but yeah, that's mostly the only kind of thing that probably is because not everyone does, likes cute things, that's for sure. And then there's the fact that if you don't know the movie, yeah. But, but for me, I love cute stuff. Like, because like, I'm a Hello Kitty fan. Okay, that thing I told you, I'm into cute. So I definitely do like that. Oh. These things, I actually They're find... They're just really pretty. Yeah, these is actually really cool. I actually find this one is exclusive really awesome. Like, I think you could really like these no matter who you are. Yeah, especially with the fact that it's also like a... Basically like a friendship necklace kind of thing. So it's like... Yeah. That actually makes it even more cool. And lastly, it'd be hard to find someone who would not like this. Unless they just didn't like anime in general. And then why are you getting the anime loot crate? Yeah. I like to, it was like saying because... I mean, I know there are some anime fans that don't like DVT. But I found more people who are fans of it than those who don't like it. Yeah, and I... I agree with that. I mean, even a lot of people who are just aren't big on shonens have something they like in DBZ. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, especially with the fact it's like one of the few anime series that's like it's like even non-anime fans will know of it. Yep. Few, there there are a few series like that. Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon Sailor Moon. Moon. DBZ. That's about it. But in the, you know, a lot of things that got popular back on TV when we were young. Yeah, let's see. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, not everyone exactly knows about Cowboy Bebop, which is a bummer. Yeah, well, that was more of a like a late night anime fan thing. Yeah, though. Let's see what other kind of things actually still a hit. That we still a hit thing today. I think made to some extent. To some extent. To some extent. I don't think as many people know it, but it was. But you probably could likely find more people who would probably have heard of that than compared to maybe with uh, Bebop or Sally Digimon. Not everyone would know on that one. That bums me. That is a little sad. But yeah, so like I said, like I said, this is like one of the most popular series. Of oh, no, no, no. That's one I'm watching. No, yeah, that's another one. That's a, that's a very yeah, cause big name. Because she knew that and she knew at least one of the characters and she never really saw any episodes. Still had it. <laughs> Um, I've, I've seen a few episodes. Okay, so you've seen a few episodes. I've read okay. a little bit of the manga. Okay, yeah. And I've absorbed most of my knowledge through AMVs. Yeah, that's basically how it Osmosis. But yeah, so, yeah, like I said, like, series like that, like, like I said, it's a very popular series, so, like, this would be one item that, oh, that I know many people will... will... Well, to be fair, I have, a, I have a grudge against Kishimoto killing off my favorite character on, on the sole fact that he didn't like him. What series is that? Um, Naruto. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, Kishimoto killed off Neji on the slow fact he didn't like Neji. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Oh, yeah. sorry, spoilers. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I think by this point everyone knows it. Yeah, there might be somebody here who's like three episodes away from it. Kind of like my experience with Bleach. <laughs> Stupid eyes and reveal. Now that one you have no excuse. That has been <laughs> ten years. Yeah, so... Oh, wait a minute, now I remember another series that many people would still, like, they know of and all that. Hmm. Death Note. Yeah, that was really popular for a while. Yeah. And and it just made the news in a positive and negative way more than... Actually, yeah, there's actually... Actually, there's going to be a... Okay, I actually found out stuff dealing with that... You know that live action Death Note movie that Hollywood was doing? Uh, yeah. It turns out some things were... Kind of were, you know... The usual development hell stuff is going on, and it turns out that now the movie's gonna get released through Netflix. Huh. Which basically means it might be more true to the manga then! Because they will get, because Netflix does not have really hold any barriers with what they release. That's true, they don't. Like, just, like, like for those who can handle it, check out Jessica Jones, and so is it bedtime. How to get away with murder is a good one. I don't know if that's a Netflix exclusive, but it's still a good show. Uh, it's actually it's on uh, CBS, I believe. Oh, okay. It's but a they, good but show. They, yeah, but they, are, but they do have the rights to stream it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're, we're getting way yeah. off topic. So, yeah. So, with this crate, for me, is one I'm really glad to get. For, and that, and I'm actually looking forward for what the next one will be. And I will also like to mention that with this month, I'm also going to be doing Aki Bento. Because their theme for that is just awesome. It's got like, like, f 
four out of the five series in there, the four of them I'm a big I'm a fan of. The fifth one I'll probably become a fan of whenever I get to watching it. Well, what's the fifth one? Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale. <laughs> so yeah, so they got. So yeah, so there's that. I'm gonna be signing up for. I'm gonna sign up for the Super Mega Geek Box thing because its theme is villain, and there's no way I'm gonna deny a I box. I do with, like villains. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's one box that's good. You have to be crazy. To, like, and, like, the only way you can not get that box is if you're someone who actually hates villains, and that's real rare. That is rare. A lot of people actually really like villains. What does that say about us? <laughs> I mean, mostly because of the fact they're actually done way more better than the heroes most of the time. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, so it's like, I'm going to be getting those two. Might with level up, because it's actually pretty cheap. I might get the level one up box. So it depends on what's going on with that. And... The game, the loot gaming one is still up in the air because it depends on what this year, what the theme is, it has not been announced yet. Though, though from what I can tell, it's likely a very good thing because this one and the two boxes before it, with the first two boxes before it, because this is, the last month was their third box. They've been selling out uh, with every box. Oh, jeez. So that's saying something with the loot gaming thing, so I might get the fourth, the June box, depending on whatever the theme is. So that's what's going on with these, and when it deals with the, uh, and when it deals with the gaming one, you basically will be seeing that video on my gaming channel, because, you know, video games. Gaming. Yeah, they make sense. Yeah. I probably might do the level, I might probably might do the level one up one on there too, because, I mean, it's geek culture and gaming, but since it does, since it has the gaming included, like, the only exception is basically with Loot Crate, because they basically have a, they have, like, a few gaming things, and then they, uh, and then like most of the series. Of, oh, and that actually reminds me, you guys are gonna be loving the next the, the next little crate box. Usually they do maybe three series. These mostly they do three series, maybe four at the most. This time they're doing five. Ooh. They're doing five series. the The theme is dystopia, and the and the series they're doing they're doing they're doing Fallout. Bioshock Infinite, Robocop, Terminator 2, and Matrix. Huh, that sounds like nothing I'm interested in, but I'm sure you like plenty of it. Well, I definitely know, well, I definitely, I am in ways a fan of Robocop. I'm a fan of Bioshock Infinite. I'll probably be giving the Terminator oh. thing to my dad, because I know he's a fan of that. Hey. The only thing I know, even know anything about in there is Fallout, and what I know about that is uh, the last one took place in Boston. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, the Fallout, actually, the Fallout, what, the Fallout thing is like, you can't be a, it's like, you can't be a gamer and not know a Fallout, the games, that's pretty uh, I was gonna say, I, I know nothing about it except for that. Well, I just remember a lot of my friends were trying to find where their houses would have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's what's going on with that stuff. So I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully, the day, hopefully this June will come on time. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah, that's it for with that, and see ya. See ya. Okay, time to turn you off. Okay, there's the stop button.